there. Just crash down to 101. Crash down to 101. I'll be out. A scary ending to a high-speed pursuit that started in Purcell. I'm extremely dangerous at that time of morning. Purcell's assistant police chief, James Bowling, says the chase started just after 7.15 last Thursday morning. One of our patrol uh, officers was on patrol near the school zone on the north end of Green in Purcell when he observed a vehicle uh, going approximately 60 miles an hour in a 45 mile an hour zone. But when the officer turned around to pull the sedan over, the driver, Colton Harrison, sped off. Vehicle sped up at a high rate of speed uh, onto I-35. There was a similar incident with this subject uh, a week before for some high speeds. Um, that he was subsequently arrested on. Bulling says during the six mile chase, Harrison reached speeds faster than 100 miles per hour as he recklessly weaved in and out of traffic. The vehicle drove onto the shoulders or passing vehicles on the uh, left hand side. Because the officer feared the pursuit was too dangerous, a police report shows he let dispatch know he was going to stop it. But at the same time, Harrison lost control just off of exit 101 and landed into a field uh, approximately 150 yards from the exit. They're upside down and smoking. Harrison was rushed to a hospital to get his injuries treated, but has since been released. We're glad that he didn't cause a multi-vehicle accident. Well, police say there's currently a warrant out for Harrison's arrest, and he's looking at a handful of charges, including felony eluding and driving with a suspended license. That